Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Khurana, your host on Intellect Digest, and today we have with us the Samsung Galaxy S5. We have this European or Indian version which comes with an octa core processor. Yes, this is not the Snapdragon chipset, this is the octa core Exynos chipset, as you can see mentioned on the box 1.9 gigahertz quad core plus 1.3 gigahertz quad core. This is an HSDPA or 3G unit, it does not have the 4G or LTE capability. In this video, I'll unbox, show you the box contents, my first impressions, I'll boot it for the first time and I'll show you how the interface looks like. You'll also have a look at the camera applications, the user interface and what all it comes with. So let's start with cutting the seal first. The unit we have here is white colored unit and it is shimmer white and as soon as we open the box the first thing in the box is the unit itself so this is the samsung galaxy s5 from the front it looks very similar to the samsung galaxy s4 but from the rear only you can identify it to be a different phone let me take these plastic covers off and show you so this is the dotted and shimmery surface of the samsung galaxy s5 here this is the 16 megapixel camera unit and on the front we have a 5.1 inch full high definition display let me keep this phone aside for a moment and look in the box further we get some quick start guides these are 3.5 mm earphones these are in the ear types and they come with flat anti-tangle cable these are gold plated 3.5 mm tips pretty high quality and there are inline microphone with volume control and a switch to accept or reject the calls or change the tracks. We have some extra set of cushions for the earphone. This is a standard wall charger. This is 2 ampere for fast charging. And we get a tall battery. This is 2800 milliamp battery that comes with the Samsung Galaxy S5. And we have a standard USB 2 data cable unlike the USB 3 data cable that we get with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So let's keep these things aside. Let me pop in the battery and show you the first boot. So taking off the back cover, we get access to the battery compartment and there is a SIM card slot. This is a micro SIM card slot and just above it, you have the micro SD card slot. They are both sandwiched above each other. The version that we get here is a 16 GB internal memory variant and you can expand the memory by adding a memory card and there are some connector pins so if you add some smart covers or some wireless charging covers you can use these connectors which are provided in here and we have some linings running here since this is ip67 certified water resistant phone so it has this rubber seal inside to prevent water from seeping inside here so as you can see this black thing is actually a water resistant seal Let me quickly power it on. While it powers on, I'll show you around the phone. As you can see, it's powered by Android. Google has made it mandatory now to show this. So here you have a physical home button, which also doubles up as touch ID sensor. You can scan your fingerprint here. This is a back button and a multi window button right here. Unlike the menu button, now we have the multi window button. On the right hand side, you get power or wake up key. This is a chrome bezel all around nicely finished just like we get on the samsung galaxy note 3 on the top you get the standard 3.5 m audio port this is the secondary mic hole for noise cancellation followed by an infrared blaster which can be used as a universal remote using the watch on application on the other side or left side you get a volume rocker key this is again finished in chrome on the bottom you get the primary microphone hole and there is a flap here and when we open this flap we get the access to the usb 3 port Although there is no USB 3 cable provided here, but you can buy an aftermarket USB 3 cable for faster data transfer. This is covered with a rubber seal flap again because this is water resistant phone. To prevent any water from seeping in, it uses this rubber seal under the flap. On the rear, you get a 16 megapixel camera and below the camera, you have an LED flash followed by a heart rate sensor. Yes, this can monitor your heart rate. By using the sensor, you can put your finger here, use the S Health application to monitor your heart rate. We'll show you the detailed steps in our detailed review, which is coming very soon. On the front, you get a two megapixel camera and there are some standard sensors next to it. Let me quickly finish this setup and get back. Now, let me show you the interface. This is how 
the Samsung Galaxy S5 looks like. It runs Android KitKat, so there is OK Google, which activates the Google now. OK Google, and here it goes. The user interface is somewhat similar to what we used to see on the Samsung Galaxy S4. However, it is now kind of flat, and the user interface is slightly more colorful. It looks more neat and clear. The notification icons are also now round, and iconography has changed a little. Let me show you the icon set, and here you can see things are now rounded. It looks slightly different from the Samsung Galaxy S4. The notification etc. have also changed slightly. You have the same automatic brightness in which you can adjust the brightness level. There is quick access to S Finder and Quick Connect where you can access these things. There is also one new thing which is called Toolbox. When you click on this, you get this white dot on the screen. You may be inside any application, you may be on any screen. This white dot will remain and when you click on it, you can quickly access these things. For example, quickly access the camera application. So let me quickly show you the camera on this phone. So I quickly access the camera and this phone is known for its fast focus. So as soon as I look at this object and I click, the shutter speed is fairly fast and the focusing is also very sharp. As you can see, the object is very nicely here in focus. Also, it offers selective focus. So if I place two objects next to each other at some distance and if I touch on one of these, it will focus on the object that I touch and it will make the background blur. So in this shot, I have touched on the car and you can see the car is in focus while the ball is slightly out of focus. In the other one, the ball is in focus and is very clear, whereas the car at the rear is out of focus and is slightly blurred. This is the power of selective focus technology. It also comes with some new mode, beauty face, short and more, panorama, virtual tour, dual camera. Virtual tour is more like a street view in which you can take inside panorama or 360 views. Talking of video recording capabilities, it is capable of recording in ultra high definition or 4K. As you can see, it is 3840 by 2160 which is much higher than the full high definition. So this camera is fairly capable whether it is the still shots or video recording. Apart from that, it comes loaded with the standard suite of applications that we have seen with the Samsung including the S Planner, S Health, S Voice, etc. Smart Remote which allows you to use your phone as the universal remote. There is an infrared blaster right here on the top. You can select your country and region, add your television, home theater systems, etc. and control all your fair devices using this one universal remote which is the Samsung Galaxy S5. The back is kind of shimmery, the feel of the phone is premium in hand, it does feel really nice. We'll give you a detailed review very soon with other features which includes fingerprint scanner, camera samples, we'll talk about the gaming performance, we'll also give you benchmarks and much more details. So stay tuned to Intellect Digest by pressing the subscribe button below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. For more such videos, stay subscribed by pressing the subscribe button. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.